In this mini lecture, I'm going to explore the model of learning as a connected professional, focusing on the different types of learning experiences possible through engaging with a PLN. Learning through a PLN is unsurprisingly different for every individual. As a personal learning network, the learner is at the centre, autonomously determining when they learn, where they learn, from whom they learn and what they learn. The very idiosyncratic nature of the PLN makes it impossible to predict or describe every type of learning experience possible or every type of outcome that might be gained from this type of professional learning. However, there are broad themes that run through the experiences of learners and this is what I would like to share with you today. Learning as a connected professional is a model that I have developed to represent the complex, multifaceted experience of professional learning through a PLN. It draws upon the theoretical foundations of connectivism, networked learning and connected learning. The model covers a lot of ideas, and so in this presentation I will focus on just one part of it, the arenas of professional learning, pedagogical, personal and public. I will also explore with you the variations of learning experience within these arenas, which I describe as linking, stretching and amplifying experiences. Let me explain a little bit more about the terms linking, stretching and amplifying. As the PLN is personal, le personal, learning experiences vary for every teacher, depending upon many factors, including their individual learning purposes, their characteristics as a learner and the structure of their PLN. These factors differ not just from person to person, but also from day to day for the same person. For example, a teacher may go, into their, go to their PLN with the intention of answering a quick question. Is the new edition of a particular textbook worthwhile? Their learning purpose here is to solve a day to day problem and then move on. The very same day, the teacher may hear about a new pedagogical strategy that they would like to trial in their classroom. They engage once more with their PLN, but this time they search across different platforms, looking for resources and individuals who are already using this teaching approach, asking questions or clarifying misconceptions. Their learning purpose is much deeper in this scenario, and therefore their learning experience will be quite different, even though it is the same teacher engaging with the same PLN. Some learners like to sit down with their laptop and engage with their PLN in a leisurely way on a Sunday afternoon. Others might like to connect quickly on the go via their mobile phone. These different ways of learning are reflective of individual, different individuals' learning approaches, but they might also just reflect the context of the learner at the time. During school holidays, the leisurely afternoon of learning might sound appealing. But that same teacher might decide that during school time, on-the-go mobile learning is much more efficient. The structure of the PLN also influences the learning experiences. Some PLNs are spread over a wide range of online platforms, and the learner might jump from space to space, connecting, sharing and curating. Other PLNs might be focused around one or two types of technology, perhaps Twitter and Pinterest, with the learner pinning or saving their ideas on pin boards as they discover them on Twitter. The concepts of linking, stretching and amplifying don't indicate a measure of the quality of professional learning or necessarily of the capability of the teacher, but rather describe styles of activities teachers undertake that contribute to their whole learning experience. As I've already described, teachers often move between linking, stretching and amplifying according to personal need, desire and capacity. The point is that there's no right or wrong way to experience learning through a PLN. It will be different for everyone. However, through my research, I've noticed a clustering of experiences which I have grouped using these terms linking, stretching and amplifying to make them easier to understand. Learning experiences which involve linking are often motivated by pragmatism. The PLN allows for learning when and where needed and experiences characterised by linking with people and information are those that focus on using the PLN effectively and efficiently to meet immediate or near future professional learning needs. Learning experiences which involve stretching 
are characterized by discovery, expansion of the network and curiosity. Here, the learning experience is exploratory. Teachers who are stretching their experience of professional learning may not only meet their immediate professional learning needs, but also are developing their capacity for future learning and practice. Learning experiences which involve amplifying are characterized by contribution, creativity and knowledge formation. This type of professional learning experiences involves collaborative construction, remix or redistribution of information and resources. It suggests a high level of interconnectedness and interactivity, supporting the professional learning of others by publicly sharing the learning experience. These terms will become clearer as I work through the arenas of professional learning and give examples of linking, stretching and amplifying in each one. The arenas of professional learning describe the spaces in which teachers enhance their pedagogical knowledge and practice, that develop their perceptions of themselves and others as teachers, and contribute to the wider teaching profession and beyond. Learning as a connected professional can occur in some or all of these three arenas. It took me a while to decide upon the word arena to describe these categories. When I think of an arena, I think of a wide open space where people gather together for a shared purpose. Each person comes to the arena with their own expectations and hopes and goals, but usually they're drawn together by a common focus. For example, people might come together in an arena to watch a sporting fixture, fixture or a concert. They're gathered in the arena for the same event, but each one has their own reason for being there, their own ideas about how the event will play out, what might happen, and what they hope will happen. Thus, I name my categories the pedagogical, personal, and public arenas. In the pedagogical arena, individuals engage with learning that focuses on the business of teaching. This includes pedagogical strategies, curriculum planning, classroom management, content knowledge development, assessment strategies, the bread and butter of educators everywhere. Each individual experiences learning in the pedagogical arena differently. Some expect to come away with new resources, some hopefully challenged by new ways of teaching, some might want feedback on a strategy or classroom management process. When experiencing learning within the pedagogical arena, teachers relate learning through their PLN to the work they do within their own classrooms or within the context of their school. The table on this slide gives examples of the linking, stretching and amplifying professional learning experiences of teachers within the pedagogical arena. Linking allows teachers to improve their teaching practice by linking to others for everyday problem solving and asking and answering questions of a technical or practical nature. They're making direct connections with others that help with the day to day challenges of teaching. Teachers can revitalize or remodel their practice by stretching their network to include new connections, which helps them stay up to date with pedagogical and curricular changes. Engaging in dialogue with other practitioners may offer opportunities to design or redesign pedagogical approaches or program planning. For example, a teacher may request advice about how to go about introducing a new teaching strategy, say problem-based learning. Talking with others who are already using this teaching approach, exchanging resources or planning ideas, and sharing stories of practice are ways in which the individual teacher might stretch their professional learning beyond the day-to-day -day experiences typified in linking learning experiences. Online exchanges can also translate into offline experiences when teachers visit other schools to see learning in action as a result of connections and relationships developed through the PLN. When teachers are reimagining their practice, they may have amplifying learning experiences. This involves learning through the PLN through collaborative inquiry and research. Amplifying learning experiences occur when teachers connect with research and professional content and interact with the creators of that content and with other experts in their fields of interest. They might then use the affordances of social technologies to curate, remix and co-construct new content in response. They then share this new content with their networks. By publicly seeking, curating, constructing and reconstructing content and then distributing this widely, teachers amplify their learning by allowing others to be included in the process. Many individual, 
individuals benefit from learning that happens out loud in this way. In the personal arena, learning extends beyond the school context to embrace personal understandings within the broader context of the education profession. The personal arena represents professional learning associated with how teachers perceive themselves as professionals and as practitioners. Through professional learning in the personal arena, teachers receive support, encouragement, advice and feedback as they navigate the role of teacher and how they see themselves enacting that role. Not all experiences of the personal arena are the same. Experiences of professional learning in the personal arena may be described through interactions and experiences which are linking, stretching and amplifying. The table on this slide summarises some examples of this. Teachers engage in linking experiences within the personal arena when they interact with others who are similar, finding validation and support through common experiences and perspectives. In the personal arena, a PLN that supports linking learning experiences are likely to be populated with connections to individuals who share the same or similar roles, who are teaching similar subjects, or who, can, who share very similar professional needs and interests. By connecting with other practitioners, learners can find validation with others who understand the emotional and personal ups and downs of certain roles or positions within schools. Stretching experiences include offering feedback, engaging through reciprocity and broadening perspectives. By connecting more widely, teachers may enhance their sense of self as an educator. Making connections with those who may hold different roles within schools or education or with individuals who work outside of the education sphere can assist teachers to develop a broader perspective by having the opportunity to see their position from different angles and through different lenses. Those who experience professional learning through amplifying experiences contribute their thoughts, expertise and reflections for others to benefit from, drawing on their sense of support within the network to confidently share with others. The opportunity for personal reflection and the establishment of a professional presence within and beyond the PLN offers teachers new ways to see themselves as educators in a wider sense of the word. They are contributing to the learning of others in their profession as well as to the students in their charge. The public arena extends beyond the pedagogical and personal arenas and involves professional learning experiences that openly contribute to the field of education in general. Professional learning in the public arena involves contributing and advocating for learning of others. Publicly sharing evidence of teaching and learning opens windows into different contexts. Sharing and interacting through the PLN creates a potential for others to see the interests, practices and expertise of teachers in ways not previously possible before the internet and PLNs. Those who experience professional learning within the public arena enjoy outcomes in addition to the expansion of pedagogical knowledge and the development of sense of self. Some of these may include public positive representation, which may lead to personal career growth, opportunities to contribute and advocate to the profession, being invited to present at conferences or publish, publish, in pa uh, publish papers or articles in professional uh, or research journals and more. Experiences of learning in the public arena appear to depend upon the reputation of the individual within the PLN, which can arise through engagement in professional learning in the pedagogical and personal arenas. Participants who amplify their learning within the public arena are often also individuals who experience learning across all three professional learning arenas. Engagement in the public arena appears to be the most visible type of professional learning through the PLN. This visibility develops incrementally and the experiences of learning in the public arena build over time. Although much of the learning that happens in the public arena is through amplifying experiences, teachers can still engage by linking and stretching within the public arena. Some participants may experience linking if they connect with network stars. Network stars are individuals that I describe as having generally very well known reputations to teachers who interact through their PLNs. They usually have very large numbers of followers and share what is considered to be very high quality content relatively prolifically. 
Learning experiences that acknowledge the potential of a PLN to enable advocacy and increase professional presence may be described as stretching experiences. As teachers who begin to offer their own content and increase their interactivity within the PLN, the capacity to contribute to the learning of others increases. These teachers are stretching their networks to become more public learners. Teachers who experience amplifying learning experiences within the public arena maintain a well-established presence within the PLN and beyond, based upon an evidence, evidence of high quality practice and content knowledge, which they share generously through their PLN. Amplifying learning experiences come about when teachers regularly contribute their thoughts and opinions, as well as content that they've created or remixed, which then informs the learning of others. In summary, teachers can experience learning through their PLN in many different ways, depending upon what they want to learn, who they choose to learn from, how much time they have, their level of digital and social network literacy, and many other factors. They may choose to engage in linking, stretching or amplifying experiences to meet their needs. Being aware of these different approaches to learning through the PLN enables richer professional learning experiences. Understanding that there are different ways to connect at different times for different purposes removes some of the mystery of the PLN and can allow teachers to realise that their network is flexible and there for them to support them in their learning in whatever form they need at any point in time.